Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 9 of Andor. Uh, I'd like to apologize in advance because I'm a little bit sick at the minute um, after being at MCM. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was a good weekend. So um, I'm excited to get back into Andor. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. He's developed a unique interview system some of us are very excited about. As you now know, we brought in... Is that the prongs in the head? We tracked him to a radio hidden in his yard and thought he might cooperate without encouragement. For a man with very little actual rebellious activity. Are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? I'll be honest, if she was in if she was like interrogating me, I'd give up everything. <laughs> you know recorded history of political troublemaking? The very worst thing you could do right now is bore me. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, neither of you realize he's in fucking prison. I still want to know what the fuck they're making. It looks like a weird car factory. But I, for some reason, I feel like it... I feel like it's Death Star related. Oh, I don't like that he's smiling. Oh, no, he's so creepy. Uh, we're about to, like, wreck your brain. <laughs> It's fine. Moon called Dies on Frey. You're being restrained. <laughs> quite unusual. Extremely hostile to the belief of primarily children, which has its own particular effect. Wow, this is not what I was expecting the torture method to be. Good lord. I thought it was just gonna be like the the like. Doesn't take long. I don't know. I don't know. It won't feel that way to you. I mean, at this point, just be like, yeah, I fucking spoke to him. He told me he was going somewhere. I don't fucking know where he's gone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, cool sound transition, but also scary. He's planning something. He's got something on his mind. What are you doing, Cassian? The fuck? Ha oh, I can't listen to that noise. But what the fuck, Cassian? New man on the floor. This is Unit Five Two D. Oh my God! What are oh? Room Two. The D. How are they thinking and planning to escape this? Why? Jeez. Like, by attacking them and taking their weapons? Is this shit really gonna Don't work? Them away. The senator from Chandrilla stands with those in opposition. Oh, I love this room. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> Your father may have an opinion. Oh, it's easy lets me wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Well, why don't you go try it on? Hold up, wait, they're cousins? What the fuck? Okay, I was not- I did not see that coming. There's a lot to see. Holy shit. I don't have enough to worry about. Wow. You take what's left. I had no idea. Tell me you're going home for a visit. God, they really have the good genes running in their family, don't they? God damn. <laughs> we are nothing to them. Come on, help him. Help him, Andy Circus. Let's go. And easier to replace. How many guards on each level? No, uh, ghosted. See, his, his he he seems like the kind of person that would end up like joining the empire, but at the same time, something about him also makes me think that he he wants to help. I don't know. It, he's kind of like both. See, that's working out. If they are, we'll know. We're on her full time. God, she's so fucking good. I hate that she is, but she's so... She's so good. Kid, they don't know about it. If they will find out, we kill them. They're all gone. We're, we're, well, we're all of them. Shifts. hundred men. I can't be right. You heard nothing. So we know what's going on. I really hope- he's only got 217 days left. I really, really hope that he, like, manages to get it- like, to get out and be free and be safe. Like, I know 
I'm just after saying, like, oh, he feels like he would definitely go Empire. Oh, t please don't tell me he's eating a cereal again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Cyril, do you eat anything else? I told you not to bring dinner out last night. And what do I do? What is the return on my investment? Oh, this woman needs to shut up already. On me. The shadow. Imagine. Imagine I cracked Stop under the weight of the Stop slurping your cereal! Will we ever see him eat anything else? That's the question. Let me know your answers down below. Ulaf is not okay. Find yourself a husband. Nothing on my list of things to do. Oh shit! You need a widower at this point. Who's left with any value at your age? Yes. All the good ones are taken. Oh shit! You remember Tay Colma? She is not afraid to stand up against him, and I love it. Is that all it is? This is not the duo that I expected, but I love it. Both ethereal works of art. I love them so much. I needed to find you, and it's not that easy. Thank you for what you did and what you're doing. What? <laughs> you're following. I tried following the conversation we had last month. I know you work here. You come sometimes to see if I'm safe. I'm an ISB oh, Cyril, <laughs> please. How much trouble you were in right now. Huh. Today had ruined my life. Just being in your presence, I... I'd realized that life is worth living. Cyril! That if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy. And if I just kept going, hidden from me in the future was a dream. Worth clinging okay, to. Okay, now this is a little bit creepy. I could have you arrested. You were aware of that. Uh, she was not taking any of his shit. That's so creepy, though. Like, the way he was so proud. Like, yeah, I've been coming here to find you. I've been waiting for you. I know you work here. Just came in. We picked up a rebel pilot an hour ago. Inmates on program. Program in place. Low yields tables in position. There's definitely something wrong with his brain. Takes the shift by six racks and three. His confusion, his, like... In the box. Hello? The pain in his head. Struggling to use his hands. Oh God. Can they not ask for medical attention? Is that not a thing in here? I know it's a prison, but like. We can't save you. You're nothing too safe. He's had a massive stroke. So you're just gonna kill him? I need a bag in the trolley. It's coming. They'd already prepared it. We'll pass peacefully, which is more than I can say for the rest of us. Who's first? I need a bag in the trolley. I said it's coming. Maybe I was wrong about my, about him. Maybe he's. Really fucking hates the Empire. A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Word got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need that. No one's getting out, are they? Not now. Not after this. At least your friend is free. I'm so confused. What what do they mean he went? Oh, hands on your heads. I I don't know what he meant by that. I'm confused. <laughs> No, he's gonna help. More than 12. There we go. He's realized that the, the Empire just see them as things. They don't see them as people. It's the same as clones. They only saw the clones as numbers. They didn't care that they had names, personalities. The Empire don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves. Even each other they don't give a shit about most of the time. Fucking hell, that was a that was a pretty intense episode. Holy shit. I d didn't want that episode to end. Like I was like waiting. I want more. I need I <laughs> Oh, we only have three episodes this left. I need more. I like and it's not even done yet. Oh god, I really, really hope nothing happens to Andy's character because I feel like he needs to be a regular. Now that we finally have him out of CGI, out of costume, you know, just not just a voice, like it's just an actual 
just him as a person. I think he needs to be such a big character and I love his role in this. At first, I was like, because he's like one of them, but he's also controlling them. I mean, it's his, it's what he's, his job he's, you know, been, he's told to do. But I was like, it. I was getting vibes where it feels like he also kind of didn't care, just wanted to get the job done, wanted to get out, which is understandable. It's valid. Um, but there was like a little thing in my head where I was like, what if he like joins, like, what if he joins the Empire? Like, what if he gets his head so into this that he joins? But now that I think we've seen him with a little bit of passion toward or compassion towards like actual other people and seeing like just how upset he was just over uh Ola, o- o- Olaf, whatever his name is. Fuck, I forget already. Um, Like seeing how little this doctor cared and how little anyone cares. I think he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I... You know, I I think he just wanted to get his job done and get out. Something tells me he has a family and people to see, which is why he was just doing his job and wants to get out. But now I think he's realized like, well, we're fucked. So I'm going to help you guys do whatever the fuck you're planning to do. And I swear to God, if he gets hurt and killed, I'm going to be so upset because he's such a good character and he deserves the escape. And I'm not letting them emotionally manipulate me by being like, yeah, here's Andy Serkis, but he's going to die. He's one of my favorite actors. I love him so much. Um... Mon Mothma and Vel being fucking cousins, I was not expecting that in the slightest. It makes so much sense now that I think about it, but it just was like mind blowing. That's so cool. And they're both fucking queens. They both slay every time they're on screen. And um, I absolutely hate her husband still so much. He's like, so have you not found a husband yet? Oh, I wasn't really looking for one. He's definitely, he, something tells me he's homophobic, 100%. He's definitely the homophobic kind of guy. Um, but yeah, that was, I love how like sassy she was with him. Like she, she, he, she, he needs someone to give him a stern talking to. He needs someone to sort of clap back at him and be like, bitch, what the fuck? And Mon just couldn't hold in her laughter. And I was like, that. I love it. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, I... I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was very good. Um, absolutely. But there, there's never a moment in the show where it's not like you're not like tensed up, like worrying what the fuck's gonna happen next. Um, it really, really, really like grabs you in and holds your attention, and I love it. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video is late. I was at uh Comic Con this weekend, and I'm I've been a little bit fatigued. Um, so I was unable to record it yesterday, but we're doing it today. So hopefully this goes up today, aka Thursday, and there is not much delay after this. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe for more Star Wars content. I will see you guys next week. So peace and may the force be with you.